Welcome to the first video in the Market Data Stock Series. In this series, we're going to teach you how to use the stock data formula to go way beyond what Google gives you with the built-in Google Finance formula. Throughout this series, we'll be comparing the output of both formulas so you can see the difference between the two and when you might want to use one or the other. In this first tutorial, we're going to see how to get a real-time stock quote. First, we're going to get a real-time price with Google Finance, and then we'll do the same with stock data. Here's Google Finance's output for Tesla and Walmart. As you can see, the formula is very easy. You've probably done this before. And if you have, you're in luck. It's exactly the same way with stock data. So let's get those prices now with stock data. As you can see, to get a real-time price, the formula takes just a single parameter, exactly the same as Google Finance. Stock data can be used as a drop-in replacement for all your Google Finance formulas. Just do Find and Replace in your existing spreadsheet, and you can automatically update all your formulas to real-time prices using stock data. But how can you tell which formula is more accurate? Don't just take my word for it. Let's open up two brokers that provide real-time data, Robinhood and TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim. So keep an eye on the tabs at the upper part of the screen. There you'll be able to see Robinhood's price as it updates. And now what I'm going to do is open up the market data panel so that I can refresh our formulas prices so you can compare to the real-time prices that are coming in from these two brokers. You'll see how the market data price matches the two brokers exactly, while the Google Finance price still hasn't updated. So I'm starting the refresh process. Take a close look at the prices for Tesla and Walmart under stock data. You'll see 702.20, 122.48. And if you look at Robinhood, We've actually gotten our price in our spreadsheet quicker than they got their price in the browser. And we're neck and neck with the price uh, streaming in from Think or Swim. So you can see the Google Finance formula still has not even updated. Uh, it's still several dollars off from the market price. But just how real time are the market data prices? Well, we're going to get a quote of the NASDAQ 100 ETF using the all parameter which will give us a full level one quote, including the date and time of the data. And now I'll use the now parameter to find the current time in the spreadsheet. Compare that to the current time. That's just two seconds of latency between the quote and the current time. Now you know how to get a real time stock quote using stock data. I hope you found this video educational. Remember to like and subscribe so that you'll be notified about all the future videos in this series. Thanks again for watching.